excited for it. I mean, we've seen it yeah, yeah, this is, before, but this it's always is, uh, been a secondary. To me, dude, this it might be a stacked day. Okay, loud on defense, ED on attack. We got an instant omen or <laughs> instant omen flash, sorry, over towards A. Three pass and I they want to send it. Slide into this trip. It's a brave angle by Abot right now. It's going to be swarm. It's over one. Oh, there's our first Zelda death for Sadak. Scott Fury, Pancada going for the squeeze. Long look how we It's nice. It's a pistol round that's a little bit similar to what we saw. Yeah, I, I mean, honestly, when, was, when have we when ever really seen uh, a BA crunch apart from, um, so just apart from like things up, EG paper smart, wrecks, gonna take some small maybe? Control. Someone did one against the 100 Thieves. Either yeah. way, I like George this. would love to start some kind of snowball popping with ISO, but he's not going to be given any chances at shots from his position. Yeah, no player's going to be walking away and right into him. Instead, it's just full mount control jump spot. Are you sure yesterday? Derek. Okay, well. Seen a few players yeah, I must have missed that one. that one. But the shot's going through anyway. Damage Save that for the board review on Tuesday. Major disadvantage right now. EG need a miracle. Need a few kills to go their way. In which direction will the round end? Currently filling up the feed with a bit of red still. Everybody will top Yeah, off. very, very yeah, nice. So keep an eye on the pistols. On the pistol. One nil. Um... Yeah, I love the pistol. So much to choose from that you could talk about in this map. We, we we literally couldn't get through it all. No, I think if we tried. Really couldn't. But if you're just looking at towards loud, less has he's been slowly going to do death mines the, the same man. Uh, My room is so hot right now. This PC else. is on his last legs. And we're seeing him back on the cipher roll, which he's played tons I'm of. I'm so scared to do well. a side show and open but it up. The fact that we're seeing Tui's then transition over to initiator, I've got my eyes on him. He used to be a duelist. Most people were expecting him to be picking up the duelist until recently. Sadak yeah. announced that he was going to be uh, running it down. On yeah, they're allowed Neon. two deaths. And listen, if you're talking about Neon maps, Lotus and Sunset, you don't get much better than that for the first two in this series. I and mean, they've been proven even before the buffs. Absolutely. Definitely play a particular agent. Yeah, there's just so many opportunities. And I think... Good spots as well for Sadak to be the one that entries for the team and makes space for them in a selfless manner. Yeah. And then you've got Over such there. excellent people to follow up. That's where Pankata and Les thrived in the past. Ooh, a bit of a strange fight occurring, but <laughs> I thought we were going to have Pankata. double first death yeah, for Sadak go. there. Same kind of thing. Yeah. Sadak doesn't need the kill oh, necessarily. He just needs to set up these other players on the team who've got good supportive ideas. How is he going to seek to push back this offense out towards the side? What's going a bit what crazy, is going on here? here from the EG players. Yeah, Sadek's pretty low. Directly, the targets they wanted. Now plant stuck by Derek, committed Five all the way. Planted. Get themselves into the post, but the flash is Last good. That dead. should be paranoia. Yeah, Derek's isolated. So Wait, why did that look so weird? Little in terms of the chances available to him, they eventually do take him out. So second round there, three players surviving with Loud and. You know, talking about the wider stakes as well, you can hone in on players all you want, but you know, both of these teams are two and three so far over the course of our season That's right now. Great. This year, it's not great. This match right now is a real turning point for both of these teams. It's almost fitting that they're both sitting exactly in terms of the same, you know, match dif uh, differential standings overall. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely the case that both of these squads want more. Both of these organizations have seen the very heights of the game. Both orgs have literally won champions, and yet they find themselves here. Different rosters had to make okay, changes. Okay, bonus is looking good. I need this we to be the turning point. We got a lot of light armors. We got correct. no. It's a bonus Owl. round for loud. Do they have something aggressive prepared? And Sadak invests his stun over towards A, and they build. have a. Yeah, just trying to double up and take the fight. Die. Already. Wait, Jogamo tanks some damage. Now, you took a slow them down, Ooh. but. Barreling forwards and through. Wait, the door's open Spike wide. Stop them in their tracks there. Nice, even exchange. So loud. Yeah, they wanted to duel so heavy three. over towards B here. This is really nice Those from Pankada. Incredibly important kills just to halt that momentum. Slack. It's going for a little bit more. This is like uh, that, though. EG cut noise. Sadak just peak. goes for some information. Yeah. He's not expecting They're still kind of just committed. Spotting less, though. Superman. Last player standing. Has to take risks in this spot. Derek. Oh, that's there right. goes the bonus. Oh, favor, though. Facing up into the double face of Loud. Three in a row now for them. Bren, there's some sick part of me that really wants Sadak's stats at the end of this to be better than Aspas's. <laughs> so that we can run some kind of bonkers. Just you at a head-to-head. -head. We've entered a dimensional <laughs> portal kind of head-to-head -head stat. Where we compare the two duelists. Look how nice this one is, though. I mean, honestly, if you did a head-to-head -head on, um, if you did a head-to-head -head on Neon, 
in some sense, like it wouldn't be too bad, right? The Tokyo Neon did not hit too with much. A lot of experience with the roster, but not recently. Could do it. Similar to what Loud are up to right now. Just, just don't put the jet in that. So you get fried. Play in once more shots. Get fired and rattled. How is that a headshot on that? Only the pistols on the hand of the EG players, but almost coming out on top of that fight. Keep an eye. Well, this is going on the whole time. Apoff is just strolling through B. Just can't quite land a shot. One would have done it. Brutal. Two years being low enough. Apot's worked his way all the way through B. This found a gap that maybe he can exploit on a rifle round. <laughs> this kind of thing, weirdly enough, Apoth might find more value in the long term by disguising the fact that he walked through B here. Yeah. Now, if, in order to do that, he'd have to kind of walk all the way back through one of the sides. Yeah, just so that, you know, Lao don't, <laughs> yeah. don't realize there's a gap in the defensive it, play, right? So. Exactly, exactly. So sometimes what it's better is this? not to you even just miss him walking, walking on stairs as well. It's a free kill on less. You know, magic could happen. I... Slight yeah, 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 he, yeah, he went for the check just in case he's insta swinging. Not happening so four. In a row now for loud. This is a, I mean, steady lead. Obviously Three people surviving on that one. One armor rebuy. They get the op. <laughs> they get the op out on Sadak. Round five. All right. We're seeing it all here today. One enemy remaining. I'm good for now that to me doesn't make as much sense, Brent, <laughs> with the way that they want to play. Right, he seems like he's yeah, he puts it away. For that. Okay. Yeah, just gone for the he wanted to. Yeah, I mean, up <laughs> he was at least tempted to. There's a backup a, up. We got fish or well, on attack. We must be close to an ISO surely side. by now. Okay, two away. UGB in the team as well. They're struggling to find a lot of value here, but fault line undercut. Price forward at least gives them access to front C. Loud ready for a refight though again. Look at the proactivity off the charts again. The double tap. Ah, it's Jordan. mental, isn't it? Sky can't be removed. The raid boss <laughs> it's finally so silly. broken and taken out. Shot in the back. Cowardly maneuver. 3v3 though. And they're lacking that initiation ability to get in onto sites without having the raise, without having that ability to burst through. So EG forced to play things. Okay, Sadak whole time just holding over towards A. If this door opens again, I mean, yeah, there's going for info. That's nice, though. They saw two. That's a bold door. Oh my god, Sadak sending it. No, he's actually sending it. He stood still a little bit. 5 HP, 5 HP, 28 HP. My god, he's gonna resort again. He's gotta have a reload at one point. They're so weak. Yeah. Okay, we'll two, do that. Definite chances for him. There's 33 well, health. That's unlucky. I mean, if they lined up, you could kill them with a single bullet. He's got to go break the other trip as well. And then he's going to get after go across the camera. They get full the info of just every little bit of his movement. But a thrash available. And like I said, barely a soft breeze would knock over nature and Apoth here. Yeah. Nature and Apoth as well, just biding their time. Playing as nice far back as you slow, possibly yeah. can to avoid thrash. Full avoidance. Even just holding the util nature. It's going for the major win cons here. Thrash. Ooh. It's an instant cancel. Does it I'm make not sure sense? Not really. Mistake or what? But still a tap onto the spike now. Fault line. Slight delay. Forced out. Apoff getting a bit of a run on and a move on. Of course, they know he can't quite beat on it. So two years. Not quite winnable for him. Time running short. It is good damage, nevertheless, onto EG. You know, removing a lot of those yeah, players. Yeah, that, that's that is very is true. Booming right now, the players are almost max money. <sighs> now, just unlimited just shields. This for a moment, you, if you have been playing Valorant in ranked right now, ISOs have been killing you. Yeah. That, I'll say that as just a straight up fact. That even if you're playing ISO, you you know the terror that is ISO in ranked <laughs> currently. But at the pro level, there's so much spam into smokes and so much chip damage and good utility. Jogomo is going to find it a lot more difficult. Okay, but he has his all, and at the moment I rate rounds. this as the best all. See, even in that situation where he's able to pick like up in two, pro play, this should be the best all. This should be a round win every single time. Because even if this guy doesn't win the draw, it's a yeah. trade, this and then you should be entering the site. Who do you detail. actually want to get for loud? Surely you're looking for less. Yeah, if you get less, it takes down the entire cypher kit, so... Yeah, but he might kill you. It's he less. might kill you, that's true, but the shield's active now. Doesn't want to opt for using it, just backing away. Jorgamo, what would you like to do with this? I'm waiting for it, man. I want to see the gulag. <laughs> Pull somebody into it, the 1v1. 
Yeah, he's not going to. It's prime and ready with the undercut. A bit of vulnerability now. Spice things up. You can see with that damage. God, Pankada nearly went down there. There's a lot of damage. The shield's offline at this point. Yeah, Wait, how's uh, that? Oh, it's Teva. Now okay. still complete control. Look at this. Teva spam. The position the cage. Might make him think twice about it. Cage trigger. But the fact you you don't have shield available and you have the ult, so now you've lost the advantage if you want to go for an ult. Yeah, that's true. It seems very weird here. Hesitant from EG. They could have. He's gonna go for it anyway. There's yeah. three people here. Sadak wins the duel over towards A. Yeah, no shield for this. He'll still win anyway. Now he gets the shield. Wait, that's not right. You don't do that anymore, do you? Unless you popped it. Chance to even it out, maybe. Not quite. Sadak in a 1v3. Yeah, no shit if he's not active now. No disruption. The post plan is pretty impeccable stuff from EG. Nice little setup. They still have two breach flashes. Yeah. I mean, the fact that they got in without even having to use those, without choosing to use those. Nature's just going to be taking contact here. It's basically unlosable. If you are the EG players. The horn forces the issue for Sadak. He's definitely anticipating. <laughs> this is a nice try there. Tried to get a kill before that. Fade eye popped down. Shot straight to the cranium. So, second round out for EG. Maybe start uh, the string and, and change together. Yeah. At least with the ice of all, I'm thinking it nice should even. have an insane have win rate percentage with, it, with the ult. Being able to get that entry. That's at least one. Into the ult. Not exactly how I thought it was going to get good. used, but. They still flooded the side they already straight. those in the future. Here it is. Ooh, instant shot. And come and see perhaps looking to try to take the fight there a bit more aggro because he knew that that shield wasn't active. He got punished for it. Getting that jump spot, seeing if there's an operator on the other side. Pretty standard utility being used as well. Again, the full line. Vulnerable. Prowler as well. Heavy committal just to take the yeah, control, and but the fact that they're prioritizing the ult doesn't he surprise me at all. Nature Taking orbs over towards uh, it feels like there's a weird little mini side. game going on where there's just like a you know, game the and then there's just use. Sadak and Apoff just 1v1ing every round. Looks like other people are going to get involved in this one. Sadak picked one up last time in this exact spot. It was Apoff. They've made it feel like Apoff is the only solo lurker once more, oh, but the double. jump spot we'll see too. It's a really nice jump Gives spot. The game away. No reinforcements really. Gonna be fast. Onto the play. Slowing them all down with a couple of stuns. Jogamo looking to gain some Bro, ground. The sound bug is so brutal. Huh? End themselves over towards this A site. Sadak still anchoring out towards the back, but he doesn't win his fight out. Util flying forwards. Just trying to set this one up. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> What's going it's on? Sheer dominance from them. There's so many jewels right now. Prius is melting. <laughs> yeah, nice shots from Les. Let's get a replay on this. You noted that there weren't instant rotates. Cowanzine used a Prowler. They, when, they, when they got the confirmation there were two players rubble, Cowanzine walked forwards on C, Prowler mound to know that it was clear, and Sadak actually turns around and walls up to heaven, which allows these players from Loud to dominate the heaven angles, but then also flood into sight if they need to with that cover. That's really nicely played. Good protocols on defense from Loud, making sure that they don't get hit by a fake rubble take and it's actually going towards C, and also having very good ideas of what Sadak wants to do in order to get help on the site. Love how they played that, and EG's economy tumbling. People want to watch the ult. The problem with watching the ult and the other ult. one was um, Nature would have that one available. A big breach. Ult there was like two on site, so you should just struggling. go with the numbers. Because yeah, if the ISO ult, an if they play slower the in the ISO situation. ult, to, you could miss like all the kills on the site. Side, but probably going to be using this round to try and build up some ults. Yeah, and I think the next big opportunity yeah, for it EG feels to like it needs a picture of yeah, it, with that ISO it, doesn't, it needs a picture so, in picture. I agree. You know, Loud should have a bit of a freebie here. They should have a picture in picture ready every like time there's an ISO or have the, the other side ISO have in the picture in picture. Though. Everything else going it's, on. It's, you never it's know. difficult. You never know with Jorgamo, especially. I mean, that guy is capable. Yeah, but I got to say though, I am impressed with what we're seeing from Loud right now. Uh, there was a lot of confusion in my head about why they were going in this direction rather than putting two E's on due list as he was in the past five on the defense I mean five on the defense is already really good before he joined loud um, loud first time now we see Sadak yeah, over towards like C he wasn't so changing Brazil, their setup like a good solid due list player and they crafted him into a more passive smokes player high low setup <laughs> that's the danger 
that we were talking about. It was a high level setup, and Jogamo almost ends yeah, up and winning that's the it. Hero yeah, I mean, Tui's was doing a bit of whiffing actually. <laughs> He's at the top of the scoreboard right now, though, so we'll forgive him that one. Sanak, in a not one. cleared. Yeah. Oh my God. Ball. What? Hello. Oh, okay. Hello. Just plays full patient, waits for it. Prime timing here. And yeah, takes his time with it. Yeah, no problems. But yeah, I quite like what Loud have ended up going for. Tui's, like I said, generally a bit more passive while he was playing on smokes. <laughs> but we're seeing him actually man. find those opportunities to take fights oh, a little dude. more now because it's he's on Gecko. It's not a super passive initiator. No. It's more of a dump your utility and then go in and scale with the team and take fights. Okay, ISO ult. Do we get another... Is it just going to be 100% every time we see it? Could when he Probably should be. Tui's on Harbour was like very towards the back of the pack didn't have as much fragging Look impact but from what we've seen so far this year he's certainly capable of it he was really good yeah. to start 2024 yeah it's very proactive uh, loud not afraid <laughs> to try and fight <laughs> over it it's not like one of those the guys that you want to have, have in the team for sure but, initiate a util. but this was the round brand that we were really talking about where alts get back online you can actually Jorts do it all it's crazy as well. vibes igl jewelers positioning Looking to yeah, I think you can, I think, I think yeah. you can play They're everything. Just that they miss the I think you can actually play everything. Yeah. Hoping that they just end up free firing. So thinking ahead with the ults they've got. I, kind of, I like the idea here of Kalanzine just sending a prowler to make it feel like he's playing on site and then running away. Backing away, he yeah. has. Yeah, like little shots yeah. like this so, and, then, yeah, and then yeah, run and away. Then uh, away. Allergy yeah, trying to bait out TV, this thank you so much for the prime. Thank on you a for nice doing that. Obviously, you don't want to get caught. Appreciate the support. Might be looking to try and take the fight again. He is here we go. This one with the ult primed no, and ready. It's more. I thought that was going to be missing. Yeah, not quite. to be a trade no matter what. Another chance of redemption for Kawazin. Yeah, not not even a trade. The shield refresh. Straight Just back into so, the fight. So, so strong and pro play. Really trying to gain that advantage for his team space. Oi, Dewey's, what are you doing? He's out into the open. He's going to be falling for it. <laughs> ZG, sort of nice and tidy. Sadak, I gel himself though. To do something, a bit of spam blindly firing straight into the smoke. The shots are connecting, but this wraparound flank Enemy not anticipated. A pop, Sadak's just sure melting people out on site. Sadak on seven HP, he's got a little bit too much to do. Have to be a miracle, okay, very nice. Happen. Still 100% record with the uh, so big ults ISO. get big results there for evil geniuses. Able to catch Kalanzine, you can see what he was doing. He's trying to get in front of those ultimates, and maybe they can get one more before the end of the. Previously, George just oh. straight up one and 1v1 against him, but this time, even a shield is What's he on now, too? It is a bit weird, though. The two he's ripped that ult off in the middle of Waterfall. Yeah, I don't... I mean, no I... No cover? I <laughs> yeah, it was a really bad visual, man. It was a really, really bad visual. I have no idea what the brain process is there. I got nothing to defend it. It was really a bit of uncomfortability, you know? He, he wanted to insta-pop around the but corner. Also, from Loud's point like, of view, I get that, but... You're not really that worried about... The rest of the rounds in this half because EG have only won when they've had big ults online. My ult is ready. Bring them down. Derek Kearns is way up. Again, Jorgamo. It's not high. Yeah, he's I'm pretty confident he's going to get another ult, right? Too, but for the end of this? Yeah, this battle of attrition, Superman who wins it. Especially if they go out so A and get this ult here. Yeah. Had a slight angle. And Sadak punishing him. Lose. He's been punishing him consistently. I mean, Apoch. Whoa, that was caught really out of fast. When he's just trying to look and create some of that space. Superman might be popping off for him. Jump spot almost anticipated here by Sadak. He's not giving it up, is he? Oh my God, he's fighting. Ball still. Trade it out for the start. <laughs> has to pop it up. He can't quite escape. EG. Dude, he, he, the amount of confidence he got from that first shot still. is insane. Current I can't he believe he's stuck around. Just walking. It's watch for though. Superman is on fire right now. Very good awareness. I don't think there's anything the less can do in this spot. They're just—they're not even going to bother going into it. Yeah. They do lose one on the way out, so you know maybe if they just grouped left. up and overwhelmed him, <laughs> there wouldn't have been any danger anyway. But they're choosing the safer option. Yeah, I mean Play this is the ultimate one. amount of respect right get here. Get on site, get the crossfires set up. And quite a nice round. They are punishing these repushes for information that louder. Just going avoid him, yeah. It—it it really is just. just oh, the guy's off. a beast. Just let him be. Nice left to do the most. 1v3. EG's post plan again. It's so many backup policies for them, isn't it? Derek's going to be the one taking that contact. Just jump spotting backs away now. Nature. You can show main is accounted for. As soon as there's a tap onto the spike, or even not. Look, shot just lands. 
Yeah, lovely. One to the cranium. Two more. Four rounds um, to on their attack side. I've got to say, Brett and Fresh Air have seen a raise on the attack side. Of the old <laughs> normally, three more. Normally, yeah. listen, we'd be talking to death about the showstopper. And yeah. it's up. Uh, going for the... Going for the initiation into the seaside. Yeah, he it. ate this fade eye. Yeah. Oh, what the is that? Is Wait, that was it, the first it, kill, it really right? Is. I would say that America's is the most resistant region to change. Yeah. They like tried and true, tested ideas, refined. And what we've actually seen so far in stage two is... It was. It was a relatively played. unlucky Neon man. That's your first so day. Oh, he messed up. Not just adapting to change, but embracing it. <laughs> Fighting like there's a bit of an A fight. Yeah, I mean, people just like playing Julius. There's not the cleanest. <laughs> I do. Gonna switch up there. I mean, A pop. Once more dropping onto the extreme. Yeah, you gotta insta headshot this guy. Norfair popped off here. You can't afford to give Jorgamo a kill. Iso's already snowballing, but he's also one away from the ultimate. So if Jorg gets something. It, it is. Uh, it without the shield, so confident as well. It is the best all in the game right now. Wall up. In pro play. Brent any damage coming their way. Give some access to it, Sonic. What is that, man? It's flying Holy forward. hell, Shogamo. they called to, they the called to absolutely it's send online, it. But does he really want to try and use this one? Well, he could just win the round for them. Yeah, they, they can just ult this is. guy. Isolate a 1v1. Superman could just run up straight onto the body, but they don't believe they know where he is. TP, it's for information. Oh, just Superman try to find out where cancels. he is. They don't quite yeah, unless knows that he just can't give away his position. Ah, oh, it's so it. lovely. <laughs> yeah, it kills him anyway. Ended up losing it to an instant win. Great round. Love the way they play it. Three, uh, three rounds yeah. out of five also, that are from the ISO. Wall. Again, loud, choosing the more aggressive of a few options. After Les gets this kill, there are players. Five v four, right? And they just kind of send it there into the Five v four, and they just send it over towards to door. To fight two evil geniuses. Bro, go, and honestly, they went way bro. too early. They should have, uh, should have open and flashed it. Jogamo is picking up the operator, looking to try to take a fight. There's four players, paranoia in his face, and Sadak running him down. Yeah, backup gun though. Can't do anything though. So the weapon's going away. Doesn't want to give anything to the opposition. Oh, not out the map in case they want another one. Full A control over the rubble. That's for loud. They doubled up. Look at this trip. Uh, this triggered. trip is so nice as well against what Neon teams will often do, which is to aggressively slide onto the A lobby player. Apoth just defending himself and stopping from flanks from coming through with this setup. It's not much really changing in terms of ooh, the game plan for EG. No, but for Loud, the slower these rounds go from Evil Geniuses, the more Loud have been incentivized to go for some kind of aggressive option for either map control or more often information. Yeah, so and so they create pressure over towards here. C, and as we can see, it's going to be a B head. Um, for the... Oh, okay, it's going to be a B head, but they send Jogamo solo into C to do a lot of damage. Um, and they need to be careful here that they don't pivot into twoies and give him a kill so he gets fish short. Good cancel there, because that almost certainly would have been a mistake to run back into Pancada unless Tuiz has a lot to do. Certainly does. He want to choose and take the timing. He Lovely. Omen all over out. towards site so he can take a timing, but the trade was great. It was still a nice idea, though. Pancada and Les. Up to them now. So they can turn around the fortunes of this round. Smoke Last popped up. A few bullets standing. firing. All it takes is the one to bring down Pancada. The secondary player there. It's a good Super recovery from EG. I think angles. Loud so will take this. What a recovery. Overall, great recovery from EG, um, I have to say. But this is going to be interesting but, because the A lockdown really should be air, really strong. Be, uh, Double you know, damage and stun. From what we're used to seeing on Lotus, it could still be anyone's The problem game. is they got no yeah, one to sure. fight behind it. Will be very happy on the attack side, and Jorgamo might find it a little more difficult to pick those good timings to take fights, pop the shield, that kind of stuff on the defense. So this is still absolutely anybody's game, but none of that changes the fact that four in a row was excellent for EG to close out the half. Well, earlier we spoke with Pankata yes. about how he found his way back all the way home to the loud roster. Let's check this one out. Os amores sobre a fúria foram verdade. Eu tive a negociação que estavam até avançadas, uh, mas eu tive alguns problemas pessoais, problemas de saúde, que acabou que não encaixaram no time e acabou que deu isso. A, a Laude apareceu e agora sou Laude. Quero voltar para a Laude agora. 
foi uma decisão até que difícil, né? Eu tava passando por alguns problemas pessoais, mas acabou que as coisas se encaixaram, a gente teve um, tem, um time muito bom. E sem dúvidas os meninos ainda são o melhor time do Brasil, então poder estar representando o Brasil no alto nível e com os melhores, com certeza pesou bastante na decisão. Fair enough. Um, and Baylor with the prime, thank you, thank you. Found his way back onto, you yeah, know, it kind of worked out all right boys, for like him. Said, you know, he thinks he's some of the best Brazilian players, best Brazilian team uh, in the scene itself. But uh, yeah, I mean, it, it was kind of wasted on the bench, right? You know, it, it's, it's a difficult decision, I think, for a lot of pro players where you, know, you sit on the bench, you're getting paid still, you have a bit of security in that aspect, but you're not playing. Yeah. You're not getting that game time and you can fade into irrelevancy pretty quickly in esports. You know, it's a short lifespan. Yeah, we, ha we have actually seen some great players of prior years. Uh, with yeah, and we can just see here, coaches just reminding, and, you know, hopefully that doesn't happen reminding the players like the who are currently in that what to expect yeah. in this half or what to be doing as well. They got <laughs> two, two minutes 45 to tell them. And, and so honestly, I don't think Fury, uh, with their win right now over 100 Thieves, are going to be too bothered that they didn't end up with Pancada because they're looking like they have been revitalized. So perhaps the rejuvenation of the Brazilian scene is, is here in stage two. But I don't want to speak too early because we are very, very early days in stage two here. Happy early birthday, Jogamai. I mean, you could put that, you could say that to somebody at any point through the year. That's true, yeah. It would be an early birthday wish. I mean, it must be running up soon any time. I would assume so, yeah. but I have no idea when it is. I don't know those levels of trivia about every player. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the brain isn't, it's not capable of no. packing that not, much Not scouring a Liquipedia page. <laughs> no, no. no. You're on the track, you I'm on the track of GG, but yeah. I'm, not, I'm not on the Liquipedia for birthdays. That's absolutely true. <laughs> These two, man. All right. Um, pistol wise, oh, we'll we now. are one nil. Pistol round again. Like I said, kind of up in the air from what we'd usually expect of Lotus being played. And we don't see the, comp switch -ups. the frenzy. Both of them are really going to be performing. EG with a heavy, heavy. Oh, get a wall. Like I'm fighting over yeah, that's why control. we don't see it. Wait, the wall goes all the way over towards the door through the top. That's kind yeah, of cool. It's all kind of fake pressure, though. It is. They're yeah. making it feel like it's an A fight. And in fact, this is headed towards nature. Busy in the prowler, all combined up. Free access. Plan out here. into the open here with the wingman. Once they get it on the corner so they can see it from ahead. better angles. Oh, the utility, but again, hey. the bullets rattled away. And who's going to oh. be the winner? In this engagement, even still with the shield. Oh, Dismissed. bro, Cowns injured. Unreal. Wait, he gets Leads the number the on 22 HP. It's a 1v3. Damage under Kawazin, but he's got so much more to do. Got to remove a few oh. of these players. Right close. Oi. Putting in that work, but only 18. Yeah, nicely done from less. Just going, it's moving on to the off angle where this is going down. It's yeah, I like the I like the swing into the smoke again to make sure that his uh, barrel doesn't show just at any point. Headshot straight into them. Yeah, I, I was uh, two nil for pistols. And so it seems kind of fitting that we're now watching loud dismantle Jorgamo in some of these spots too. It, it does feel difficult for Jorg to be able to take all of the advantages of ISO and actually convert them into this momentum that. Yes, we all know it's possible. We've we've seen it in Rangu, yeah. but it looks a lot more difficult in pro play, as you would expect, of course. But that's a great pistol for Loud to be able to pick up. And here, Jorg trying to make something happen again. Just the one shot, and he's he's been alone the last two yeah, rounds. Yeah, can try and get a fade out as early as possible. CBG for what's that actual buy? Okay, so. But having said that. They want to keep three guns alive. They're allowed two down. Could be pretty fantastic for defending C. Yeah. Superman's on seven. Superman's on seventeen to nine. Anytime Wait, they really? To engage, they're going to be taking massive amounts of damage from that. Bring them down. You saw it on the first half as well. I mean, EG were using it as part of that conditioning. How's he, to take <laughs> how's he done that? Like a full line, a bit of the vulnerable, throwing it out. Just consistently fragging out. Yeah, it's very powerful, powerful on defense, but the. Trade off in some senses that it's more difficult to find your shield timings, especially if Loud are going to play slowly and contacty. Yeah. Jorgum up. In the danger zone here. And yeah, there's well, really no chances there for him. Needed what do you mean to do here? Yeah. Yeah. And of course, doesn't have the vulnerable in this round, but you know, just thinking towards the future. If Jorg's got a rifle in that spot and some of the. Uh, going out. Some more abilities to be able to work with, I think it's going to be a lot more difficult for Loud to get through that choke point. I mean, they have two people that could hunt this, so at one point, it's especially with Kalanzim being this close, this like louder, just you might see uh, essentially sealed up. You might see a swap of guns. Just aiming to go down to the spike. Yeah, there we go. 
Spike's Swap for the guns, go honest, hunting. I think Even a death is worth it for Kernzen. Yeah, we're gonna farm up a couple of these eco kills too. Get them into these players. Wait, that's a and nice pass to get a kill closer to the fish or yeah, Sadak loses the stinger, really that's closest. okay. Yeah. Is doing the hunting. And it's not getting here in time. Even go down. Whoa. Hello, A pop. A pop. Oh. He's oh. 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 oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> He's sitting at 2,700. <laughs> no way. He's got a judge. <laughs> No that, uh, judge Chaos, thank you so much for the Prime, dude. Uh, Chaos 404. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much, man. Welcome in. These replays were sick. Oh, Always there so fast. fast Sadak keeps using weapons that just ruin Jorgamo's shield as well. Whenever Sadak pops his ultimate, that's incredibly good yeah. against the ISO shield. Huge amounts of like fast ticks of damage. Stingers oh. being used out well, there as well. Less has got a kill. Just ways of right? melting through and not giving clean. Didn't want to take the timing. Mad Vandal respect, Vandal. to be fair. Well, if there's any, at any point there, you feel like you've got a timing. Like, yeah, well, I would say 99 out of 100 judge. players swing here. He realizes they got the advantage, already. and then he's just going to play real late into this nice. one. He's got to walk about. That's insane. I actually Fox don't think I've ever seen discipline to this level. Just for less with the cleanup. 99 out of 100 players can have a timing and to swing that. Spotting the jump through from Apoff, yeah, it's, it's, he doesn't it's, want to make it back into a four and four, even there. though it is probably the, gun, the most so just <laughs> the most stacked timing I think I've seen. Hoping it's impressive, man. Somebody's right in front of him. That one was a freebie. Yeah, we really did miss the beginning of that one, but I'm curious how the punish even went off. I saw Sadek didn't have a stun at the beginning. Yeah, it wasn't it? Wasn't it just dizzy flash connected and then he dumped now. on him? I mean, part of the problem with playing against the neon. Yeah, it, that's all it was, right? Normal peaks that you would take at the yeah. beginning of the round. Yeah, yeah, just gonna get punished so. by the pace that Sadak uh, and then he had a stun. Exactly. The, the stun catches there onto. It doesn't look like Jogomo's mad out of position. Just jiggling the corner, looking for a bit of info, maybe a cheeky kill at the very start. Got to go that's down to standard. an eco, so yeah, double pistol, and on top of that, they want double bonus, right? And unfortunately, these last few rounds, the pistol into the bonus, and especially yeah. the little blunder from Apoth, may have, well, I suppose, to be honest with you, they weren't winning that round even if Apoth had a bundle. So it's unfair, I suppose, to put all of the blame in his department. But these last couple of rounds, slide in the way of loud. Little uh, mistakes, they're just adding up. Yeah, they've set themselves up with a fantastic chance of taking a, a dead even first half. Is that better than actually just taking the time, though? It's very situational. A bit of conditioning. But because the Prowler didn't clear this corner, like you've Prowler's got an insta go. But yeah, it's very situational. It's, it's, it is the safer option, no doubt about it. But. There's some danger here, but the slow play just working out in Lau's favor. Everybody going for these risky maneuvers on EG's side for any sort of win that they can get. And I like this. They've kept Pancada up towards rubble the whole time as well giving them another option in the round they get the info it was a b push oh. there's only gonna be one person here door a oh, oh that's fancy <laughs> oh, running out of the bunkie sadek's running off to site while the rest of his team are dueling the guy behind him are, yeah covered it's just gonna uh, that's be that's unlucky timing for pancada unless pancada gets timing here but surely not <laughs> that's funny let's his ultimate okay well. yeah good round uh i mean good all from less bro Le less is this team is just stacked with players that you kind of want to have here. on your team. I feel like Less and Sadak are just so sick. This map. It's Loud's map pick, of course. Dave. You're looking for a little more on this half. It's just been too easy, basically. Yeah, I mean, Loud have not been challenged. This might have been one of the more close rounds. On a it tactical made... timeout yeah, as well. Yeah, timeout for EG. I That's... think it's necessary. I don't think it bodes well, though, particularly, because... If you're taking the tag time out now rather than the round before, I think that indicates that Potter perhaps wasn't confident in the adjustments that EG were about to make heading into the rifle round. But, you know, now she gets her opportunity to influence the state of play. 
and Potter's usually got some really good stuff to throw at the team. Yeah. What are they going to do? Usually Insta on point, fight right? C. In terms of wondering what to correct. I think it's tough though. I think Insta they, fight they C with more moment. util. It's not like Louder going for a ton of fast hits and just walking but, to trips. Yeah, that's they're, true. They're slowing stuff down, and EG's composition doesn't have the most info in the world. You've just got Derek to kind of play around. I mean, I think they could set up a bit of a bait and switch, maybe with Jorgamo on C. Jump spot, see if they can punish, try and go for a bit of, you know. I think they're very worried about jump it. spotting on C. Jump spotting so on C. A lot of pings over Jogamo towards A, so they want to go sure, aggro yeah. A and, and instead of one just round. aggro A so they can stack these two too. Using to get a lot of these round wins, but, but in theory, this comp can't, can't get aggro A, but they're, they're trying to make up for the fact. Nature. Was they have no jawless that can like movement nice by early. opening the door and then getting to so yeah, it's vulnerable to prowl. It's any ISO double damages from spam. here. So big with a stun. Well, no, okay, the stuns if the eye gets broken because that protocol's on it. It's nice for it's a good call from Loud, by the way, as well. I think Loud actually thought they were going to heavy focus on towards C or something. But either way, the, the call to Insta hit B is very nice. Got to keep an eye on uh, Les, by the way. They get so much map. <laughs> it's so much map control with the Sada kill. Yeah, and then to speed up and the plant's still pretty good for Les. Oh, he goes down to B main. Okay, that's done out. Oh, they heard him early here. Um, I like this whole round in general. It's nice. Jorgamo gets his ult as well, so we can keep an eye on the counter. Uh, it shouldn't work as well on defense as it does on attack. On, on defense, maybe they uh, like going to play more to leave sight. Oh, that's nice. But yeah, coming out of the attack time, I'm going for an instant B hit when you've normally been running slow rounds. Change your tempo, throw them off the yeah, game. Yeah, that's really nice. The call Dude, that, there. You add that spam Pretty into how T1 used off. to play aggro A, like with an Odin here. A that really makes nice that so retake. strong. And now they have you can pivot balls. here and spam this. Stack on a again. And we get to see Loud without pulling something fast out of the strap book. How does the slow play work against Potter's adjustment? Um, yeah, I think they're just going to play C site to leave C site with the with the eyes. So vulnerable, it's going to be called by Les. They're going to expect that there's going to be a lot of players, but it's an instant rotation. So that's uh, a lot of noise being made. Jorgamo just peeks up. Yeah, just straight up. Joe doesn't even doesn't even want to pop his. Uh, maybe too right obvious he pops his shield. I guess. They have that mount control, but they don't have the spike. Slowing it down, just seeing if they can walk into one of these angles. Maybe get a free kill or what? two. Kawazine? What? Yeah, what is that? <laughs> what is that? that? Is that, is that a double ding? The Odin should be favored. Sadak's walled his way in. Oh, there's in. no way. Apoth doesn't even there's really know that he's in. No way. He knows there's a chance, but he doesn't know for sure. Oh, it's all about the game. The timing's in a head Really over. nice timing Sadak's on this. How is this falling now. apart? And does Jorgamo pop his shield soon? Yeah, pops his shield. Does he want it all? How much more eager do you want to get, Salak? That's the question. Well, the Fado, even though it doesn't no hit anyone, they, they get so much info with it. Chat, where's the spike? Okay, Wingman's got it. I was looking at the minimap like, what? Jorgamo loses his ult. And he can get a trade. And he knows where the last two players are. He's got to push them back, him and Sadak. Sadak's going to be holding this cross. The position is good from these loud players. Fault line. No stun there. But oh, it is stun for Sadak. Slow to a crawl. Superman couldn't run anywhere. Nature in a 1v2. Ah, oh, they're playing it so well. What an absolute what round from Kanzin. In. in this round for Loud. Not willing to give anything up. The high-low setup. Full patience. Full discipline. Waiting for him to walk right into the sight line. So, up to 11. Like I was saying, man. Nasty turnaround from Loud. Yeah, really well done. That was a 3v5. The Sadak basically wins. I, I'm not going to say on his own because Kawanzin's pick on B was also bonkers. But that is so good. <laughs> yeah. It looks like from his POV, it barely got slowed by the Odin bullets as well. But Sadak walls in on C, dodges all of the spam. Right, walks into, into a spot W, key pass as well. Totally sure that the new duelist of Loud has infiltrated the setup. And Sadak picks him off, top fragging for loud, 19 kills in 18 oh, rounds. That was a bad round for EG, man. Like it could be that heavy fight and set up. Oh, Sadak doesn't win it. Not with a shield activated. 
Yeah. I think that aggro A is pretty nice. For a comp that in theory can't take they aggro A, it. they've got a good aggro A. Could be here. I, they know that there's a big setup on the other side. In fact, I think they know that all four players were over towards A. Now Loud looking to slow the pace down a little bit though. They realize they don't want to hit into that Cypher setup. Can they hold off EG's lower weaponry? The sound bug? Yeah, it's EG really going to want to force the fight. Just trying to take a time in over the trip. No right. map control for the attackers. Ah, it's all over the place. Got a jewel. It's a flash and a peak. Ah, man, they Watch timed four. this so oh, well. Wow. Wait, that was, that was sick <laughs> from Loud. So, yeah, the nature's not going to be long for this world. Superman that was sick. Up to 12, loud. This guy wants some help. One more round will do it. So he calls to flash, and the rest of his team are going to swing. Go too hot with this team, as they want to uh, do it, this guy's like opening the door and just dueling them in the side. Yeah, yeah. Does appear to be a smokes player rather than a sentinel player. <laughs> really Don't know nice. Where everyone ever told sentinel. Oh, okay. Mate, Pan yeah. Pancada is causing mayhem on Loud both sides of the map in this area. Another hard middle. This round could really just end okay, almost five. instantaneously. It's on a nice edge. They got double pistol, double bonus to help them get to five. One basket here Some of the Baron's still been looking good. This committal. It's Superman. Head ripped straight off the shoulders. Door opened up. Shield still active for Jorgamo, but nobody's given him that easy fight. He was perhaps hoping for. No cap, no agents capitalized on the free cheat tilt. That is very true. Yeah. Taking a timing. What That's is like that the part that doesn't make the, the most sense. Look how get? quick there the spam is to counter and break the shield. Everybody falling onto EG. Two v four, just to stay into the map. Shadows traveling. It's been a massive. I think the train of four is, is because you have to have some. You have to have some kind of aggro A on defense, really otherwise has. you're going to lose. The way that they've adjusted the so I guess. Some they tried some other stuff, other initiators, and they could never get aggro A, and they realized they needed to stun. It's the only thing I can think for the breach, because I do agree, it is like that. Six, six and since like, then, if you have a breach, a Neon just makes so much more sense. One round on their defense. And it's not looking like the score but also, give them a pistol. <laughs> that may be. Maybe they would have been a closer, be oh, closer yeah. one. I mean, the util they've got alone should be ending this one. If all Lion actually does save the day there for Apop. Stunned up in position. He I'm enough though for him to gain that second kill. And Sadek's just toying with his foot. Sadek's having way too much fun. All over the bloody place. Thrash below him. He's just trying to isolate one of them, but he can't do it. Okay. 13, that is a nice one, though. Will be that score line. Loud. I like their comp Walk for sure. Lotus. Any kind of neon I'm on board for. All the classics back for loud, but in the most 